back again with another video. I want to say thank you to all the people who watch my videos, take the time out of their day, and to listen to me. I appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to talk about how, uh, <clears throat> you know, people worship uh, Yahweh, and uh, they still end up dead, you know, and people don't understand, people get confused, and they turn their anger against God. And, you know, they look at God as their savior and protector. And they wonder why uh, people are dying, the people that worship him on a daily basis. Well, there's a few scriptures in the Bible, like Matthew uh, 15, 9. Uh, it says, In vain they worship me, but teaching the doctrines and commandments of man. They praise him, giving thanks to him, but... They deceiving themselves and they doing it in vain by making up their own rules of what's a sin, what's not a sin, not going according to his word, but their own word, basically changing the words of the Bible. And it's another one that says that they worship him in vain, but their hearts is so far from him. They worship God, but in their hearts, they are far from him. And a lot of them deceive thinking they have a good connection with God and they really don't. And they really... Uh, just doing this just for the feeling of it, the music of it, you know, the style of it, the uh, the get together, the feasts and stuff like that, and not really genuinely heart, really follow Yahweh. So I'm gonna play this clip right here for you to understand what I'm talking about. Church is an institution in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. There See, are a lot of these people, members, among them the if not family. all, are still living Church in sin. Church for us was not only a place to go to worship and serve God, but it was actually a place to go and socialize, see your friends. And this is what they do the in the van. daughters, Rochelle and Darnia, attended church three or four times a week. And they usually went together. But one December... I'm going to stop it right there. You know, you have to be careful how the devil can deceive you. Because the devil can deceive you in many, many different ways. Ways that will boggle your mind. But this is how, you know, they worship God in man. And he will deceive you by uh, one of your members dying. Just to get away from you. Just to get away. For you to get away from um, God. But it's also your choice, too, because you also uh, was fake from the beginning. And most of you churches are fake. Most of the people are fake. They cry. They, they act like they got the, uh, the Holy Ghost and stuff like that. And they really don't. You know, because you got to think about it. If you was, cause, uh, The Bible says that uh, God, uh, angels surround and protect all those who fear him. You know, fearing the Lord is the beginning of willing, uh, wisdom and knowledge. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. You know, you can look up those uh, verses. But, uh, yeah, so if you don't fear them, you don't have the angels to run to protect you, and you end up in bad predicaments where uh, this happens. Night, Donya decided to go alone since her sister had homework to do. That was the last time. The family saw Donya alive. My mom knocked on the door, asked me. See, that's the last time they saw her alive. And you, and if uh, uh, you know, you keep watching, you, they show how how she died at the gas station and got her body done by the garbage can. But that's the reason why, because they worship God in vain and really don't have the protection and cover it uh, around them. You know, in this evil world. And they deceive that they think that they do. And that's why people people that go to church dies or your mother dies or your auntie dies or your grandma dies and stuff like that. You know, and I was in a nursing home. I talked to a lot of people that went to church on a daily basis. And they kept seeing how the pastor would uh, pray for them and pray for them and pray for them and tried to heal them. And they never got healed. They never could walk again. They never could uh, 
get healthy again. Their bodies kept on decreasing. It's because the pastor was not holy and he's uh, worshiping God in vain because he wants, because he might be a controlling person. And controlling people like to be on a pedestal. They like to be able to speak out to people and stuff like that. And also demons do too. And if that if that pastor is not holy how you think he is or righteous or not with God, you're not going to be healed. You're not going to be changed. You also got to be careful because the Bible says that uh, people are going to be doing wonders, signs of wonders, you know, to deceive the masses. It's going to be demons healing people and pretending on TV. That's why you see all these pastors like T.D. Jakes on uh, TV and these YouTube being exposed. That's, that's what they doing. They doing the same thing as these false preachers doing. They just on a, pa a bigger a bigger pedestal. And they're going to be accountable for more uh, uh, judgment because they sending the whole church to hell because they sitting there want to sugarcoat the word. They sit there want to give you what you want to hear. And the Bible talks about that, that people are going to uh, follow the wholesome teaching, their own teaching. They want to listen to whatever their ears want to hear, and that's what they're giving you. They'll be like, oh, you want to believe you can be saved and go on by your life and just worship God and, you know, indulge in sin all the time and make it to heaven? Go ahead. And people are like, oh, yeah, that's it made me feel better. You know, I can keep going on. You know, my life, I don't have to be stressed out and stuff like that. And they tell that stuff for people that send you to hell. And you wonder why when you get judged by God, when you go to hell and you thought you'd make it to heaven, you didn't make it to heaven. You're like, oh, what did I do? What did I do wrong? I ain't doing anything wrong. I was following you. It's like, okay, let's be realistic. And, you know, when God starts to talk to you and show you your flaws and, like, and just open you up like a book, it's no talk back. It's no say so. You know? It's going to hit you like, yeah. I knew I was kind of fake. I knew I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. You know, be, real, be realistic to yourself. Stop deceiving yourself and lying to yourself. And that's how it's going to be. But yeah, something else I wanted to show you. I want to show you how these uh, police officers, uh, let me see if I can get it. Witnesses at a nearby gas station a half mile away said they saw someone who matched Darnia's description. She did come to the Texaco gas station. So I'm going to pause it right here. You know, uh, I don't know what video I talked about it on, but, you know, I was talking about how these police officers, these uh, undercover cops, all these... Uh, a detective stuff is gonna be the first one to be inside the Illuminati. They're gonna be the first one the government comes to to try to control your city, your blocks, your state, to put people in order. They're gonna be the first people getting cloned. They're gonna be the first people uh, them to work with to cause terror. They're gonna be the first people because cops and stuff like that are like supposed to like control your city your environment and stuff like that by doing their job and protecting you and you know a lot of these cops don't protect you you got some good cop but at the end of the day it's gonna come down to uh who you gonna be serving and that and then you're gonna have to serve lucifer in this police industry in this uh you know, army and stuff like that. You want to carry gun, you want to carry tasers and stuff like that. You want to put yourself in a bad predicament where you could possibly get killed. I mean, some of you might have family members that's the police and cops. And don't be surprised, they're going to be the first ones doing weird stuff and getting a call from the Illuminati talking about, hey, you know, we got to have all the police officers come to this meeting and you have to do this. There ain't going to be no way out. You ain't going to have no say so at all. And what I'm talking about, because you see that star with a pentagram behind it. You turn it upside down, that's what the ball for me. And that's what the people worship is so they souls. It don't have to be upside down, but people get stand right in the middle of this and say they souls and talk to evil spirits. And it's crazy how they have these different cops with the star with this circle around it, like a Ouija board or something. Now, why can't you just have just the star? Why you got to have that circle around it? Come on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta read between lines. You gotta open your eyes. You gotta see what's going on. These people is only working for the government. These people are only 
here to uh, pretend like they're doing their jobs or have to do their jobs because, you know, people complain and it would be a lawsuit and all this other stuff going on if these people don't do the job because these cops really don't care at all. You know, you call somebody out there and my auntie missing. Oh, you got to wait 24 hours. 24 hours, they could be dead and across the world. They don't care. They need to get up off their butt right now. Go find your auntie, your little brother, your little sister. They don't care. If they find her, they find her. They don't, they don't. And they and they put all in your face. Oh, yeah, we're we going to do our best to find them and do like that and stuff like that. It's like, okay, what are you doing it for? Are you doing it for for you to get promoted, a title, for you to be shown as, oh, the, uh, the cop that uh, uh, solved the big mystery? Or are you doing it because you genuinely really care about these people and you want justice for these people's families? And a lot of these people don't. It's all about title. It's all about how many tickets you can get. And et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sorry, that's how it is. You know? And to me, no real Christian should be even a cop. I haven't even met a Christian that was a cop in, yet in my life. Not saying... Not saying it could be or it is, but nine times out of ten, it probably won't. But yeah, it's, it's this cop and it's another cop. Also, this cop right here. It's 40s, late 30s, early 40s. They got the star with the uh, circle around it. It's like, why can't you just put them in a, a green screen or a black screen on the back one? Why they had to be in the star posted right there on your TV for you to see? That's why you have people that say the truth is hidden in plain sight. People showing you the symptoms right in your face. And, and, and people supposed to think, oh, they're supposed to hide their evil. They're supposed to not tell us. They're supposed to uh, secret, secretly code it and, and hide it through their numbers and stuff. And they don't anymore. They haven't. It just been showing right in front of you. your face. You just don't have people to expose it. And, sh and you haven't run into people to explain what's going on. And when you finally see it, you be like, what? What? That's crazy. That's crazy. And you, your mind just blown. And you can't believe they've been showing all this on TV the whole time. But they've been lying to you. But yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. But share this video to families and friends because somebody would need it. Thanks for guys for watching. Until then, I see you guys. You'll see me next time.